welcome guys to this second video of our Vue.js Laravel GWT authentication. So today we are going to implement the Vue.js into our application here. So the first thing I'm going to do is install this Laravel UI package. So from Laravel 6 and 7, now uh, to make a view available in your application, you have to install this Laravel UI. So let's just copy this and install that. So after we installed uh, our Laravel UI, now all I need to do is to install the front end scaffolding. Okay. Now we are going to use view. Uh, we can add the, the auth, but I, I want to create our own auth system. Okay. So let's do this. The this is all we need to do now let's just install all the dependencies and then we will start our development our front end server okay so now we have uh, we have installed our dependencies okay so we need to say npm run watch now this will compile and watch for all the changes that happens in our front end okay now we can just go here while that's compiling to the resources js now we'll find this components and this is the default component generated by laravel okay so we'll go to the app here and we are going to make some changes. I'm just gonna delete all the comments here. We don't really need them. Now our Laravel mix have already compiled our assets. Okay, that's good. There you go. Now here, I'm going to change this, okay? This, uh, this is when you are go, uh, going to make your application like a multi-page, not a single page. So you need to set the view to your window object, okay? But we are going to use it in our single page. So we are just going to import view from view, just like this, as simple as this. Okay, this should work. Now, I'm just going to delete all those. And we are going to change the, the welcome page here. I'm going to delete everything. There you go. And there you go. Now we need to say an ID of up. This ID should match this one. Okay. There you go. Here, we are going to call our assets. So we are going to say source, and we are going to say mix. Now our our file will be compiled to this file called app.js. Our assets will be compiled to this file called app.js in our public folder here. There it is, and you can watch uh, check that from this webpack here. Look at this. Yes, you can change, you can split them into multiple files as you want. Okay. Now we are going to only keep it simple, and here we are going to say and. The link will be mix CSS up CSS. Now this is all good. Now let's check let's check our server. There you go. Now there is one more thing. We need to disable our Laravel. Now if we say something like this. We need it to not go into it. It's, it's gonna give us uh, the 404. And we need to disable this uh, routing from Laravel. 
So what we need to do is let's remove that and say Laravel view or route view, sorry. And here we are going to use some regular expression. Okay, let's just say it's up and the view is gonna be work. Now here, where, where our app is this. So here what we are saying, whenever the route we are going to put here, just give us this welcome page. That's it. Now, if we do this, sorry, no, not this, it's all. So yeah, there you go, sorry for that. There you go, now, whatever we put here, it's gonna give us the view of our welcome view, okay? Or our welcome page. There you go, now, here in our components, let's delete this. Or let's just delete all the component file, okay? Or folder, okay? And we create new directory, call it app. And here we are going to create a component directory. There you go. And what we are going to need is some routes file and the store for our Vuex, okay? So let's just create here. Let's just say home view there you go home that's good let's create the javascript file called store and another one for routes because we are going to use our uh, Vue.js router and we are going to use Vuex okay so here just Now let's check this. Ah, oh, sorry, there is some problems here. This is home dot. Let's delete this. Let's create it again. It's home, home. Okay. There you go. Let's just write here home page. There you go. Now, here in our app, let's import home the home component. And here we are going to set it to be our, our entry component. So we are going to say render. Let's just call it app. App and let's call home. There you go. Sorry. There you go. Now, I guess this should be working. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's already compiled. There you go. Now we are setting up our entry component and now everything should be good. Now after this, we need to install our Vuex and Laravel uh, uh, and Vue router, okay? So, npm install Vuex and Vue router. So now after we installed uh, the view router and the view X, now we need to create our routes. We are going to import view and import view router. Then we need to use the view router here and export the routes. Let's have the first route to be and the component would be home. So we only need to say and let's add another route. For the login and another route for dashboard okay so let's just say login and dashboard there you go 
so we need to import the login and the dashboard dashboard there you go here let's just say dashboard okay uh, of course we need to create our components here the login it's a login page sorry and we will have another one for the dashboard okay there you go go into our home and here let's add our router view now we'll just go here and import our routes from app routes and let's import view router view router there you go now let's create a router new view router and it will have our routes and here let's just add the mode to be history there you go and here we'll just say router router or we can just say router using ES6 syntax okay I'm just gonna keep it simple as this okay now let's let's test this okay uh, now there is an error here ah there you go it's actually the history this is a string okay there you go now we have this okay now there is only one problem here so if you if we look at this in our routes here we have this path going to our home component okay now this home component is also having the other routes here so we will have two routes of our home okay so if we check this is our log login and this is our home look as you can see now we have duplicate route here so what we can do is create another component let's call it our app there you go and let's copy this and take it here there you go and all we need to do is change this home to the app there you go and we will render this app now if we refresh there you go now everything is working as expected and we have the dashboard there you go now what we need to do is let's create a nav bar here let's have home login and dashboard they are a link let's say router link to let's just copy put the login here this is login and this is a dashboard to dashboard there you go now let's refresh so we'll have home login and dashboard that's working okay I'm just gonna say
and in the div so navbar div will have padding of 10 20 pixel 10 pixel 20 pixel margin 5 5 okay, let's keep it 5 Okay, that's that looks good. Okay, let's have some background. Now let's just see. There you go. Uh, okay, now this is good. So now let's create some basic login form here, okay? I'm just gonna say Let's set a form here Or, okay, there you go Here Let's set Here Form Form group. I'm gonna use some bootstrap classes here and an input form control placeholder email. Let's copy all this, paste it again. Here is gonna be a password. And the type is password. There you go. Let's have a button here. Button. Class. Button, button primary. There you go. Let's check this. It's in the login. Okay. Now all I need to do is login. There you go, now we have a simple login form here. Okay, 